All right, good day, everybody. It's uh, the morning of New Year's Eve day. Here I am. I'm down at the shore in Campbell River, and you can see it's a really foggy day. You can't see Quadra Island. You can hardly see beyond the pier here. And, and uh, kind of like what we're looking into 2021 and seeing <laughs> what's going to happen. It's crazy what's going on. The whole world seems to be in upheaval, and uh, you wonder what's coming. You wonder what's coming, and I've been praying and asking the Lord about it. I haven't seen too many prophetic words for 2021. Um, you know, and most of the ones you see is like, happy, happy, happy. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And, and uh, I was praying about it back at uh, um, December 20th. Lord, what have you got to say? And the Lord started speaking to me about something. I was actually reading Amos and Jonah, you know, where Jonah had actually preached to Nineveh about the destruction that was coming for their sins, and they repented, sought God, and God relented. And I think a coronavirus, there is something big going on from God. This is God's pandemic, and I've talked about that in other videos, so I want to get into that right now. But let me read what I got from the Lord on December 20th for, tw for the next year, for 2021. The Spirit said in my heart, Behold, 2021 is the year of my justice and judgment, justice and judgment in all the earth. The Lord says, I sent coronavirus as a shot across the bow to expose men's hearts. Will you surrender or will you fight? You know, a shot across the bow is like when the Navy shoots a, a big shell in front of another ship they're trying to stop, right, to warn them. And then the next shots are going to hit them. Ah, will you surrender or will you fight, God is saying. Look at the world is fighting like crazy. I, I, last video I talked about, is there a president? Is there a king? Is there a prime minister who will declare a day of prayer for their nation to ask God to deliver it from coronavirus? Or is everybody just racing towards this great reset, which is like a rebuilding of Babylon? You know, man's corporate rebellion against God where we determine we're going to decide good and evil for ourselves. That's Babylon. We're going to build. That's what they want to do. So God says, no, it's a year of justice and judgment that's coming in 2021. Isaiah 10, I've talked about that before. Justice and judgment and the shot across the bow has taken place to expose men's hearts, our hearts, the world's heart, evil rising everywhere. It's just showing up what's inside. Here's what he keeps on saying. 2021 is the year of justice, get this, is a year of justice in ruin. But even now, the Lord says, if there's repentance and a leaving off of sin and a turning to me in righteousness, I will relent and it can be a year of justice and deliverance. Justice either way, justice and ruin, but if there's repentance, if somebody, if kings, presidents, will declare the day of seeking God, if men will seek the Lord, justice and deliverance. But justice is coming in 2021. There's something big coming. Take heed to yourself, the Lord says. Repent and turn to me. Stop your sin. What a word. Choose your ways, O men of the earth. 2021 is the year of justice and ruin or justice and deliverance. My goodness. My goodness. Well, like I said, with uh, the book of Jonah, and Jonah's preaching to Nineveh. That city, destined for destruction, repented. And what was going to be justice and destruction turned into deliverance for them. God delivered them. They turned to walking righteously with God. May 2021 be a year where you walk with God, you know, uh, Wickedness, the Bible says, speaks in the heart of the sinner. The, the, the conviction works there. His mind wants to keep on planning things, but his heart, it speaks there. What's the Lord speaking in your heart? That's as the body of Christ, as Christians, if you're listening to me and you're Christian. Get everything right with God. The only safe way through what's coming on the earth is to be in the center of God's will. Check everything, get it right, and walk with him in the new year. And let's see what God is going to do because there's something mighty huge coming in in the new year. May God bless you. I pray that you hear from the Lord and hear from the Holy Spirit. I'll put underneath uh, the written out prophetic word so you can cut and paste it and put it elsewhere. God bless.